We found, found our spot. spot. We, we did, did it. it. We're now owners. We're proper, have proper owners. Yeah, so, we got it. We got it, Mary. Good job. We're here to buy the last cabana, the fourth one we're getting. Yeah, it has been very nerve wracking. To have three, but not this one. We're a bit too excited. Oh my god, I can't believe it. What a Me oyes? Uy, la cobertura no, no está funcionando. Te vuelvo a llamar más tarde cuando tengas mejor cobertura, ¿vale? We found a place we love. And the, uh, like the guy we just met, he's such a nice person. Yeah, that's the best thing of the whole like, thing. That's the type of person we want to support, you know? Like we've saved a lot, we want our home, but we also don't want to like give our money to someone who is just like... <laughs> <laughs> that's not trustworthy and that lies. And I just, I don't like that. So it was so nice to like meet someone who's like honest and kind and nice it was really cool no you wanna go again no babe oh, dude I, I just need to know just try again maybe you just walk somewhere maybe you're stressing him out <laughs> maybe he's stressing me out but i don't want to miss like we've missed out on things so often miss on this. I, it's just you know you never know what can happen in two minutes <laughs> I need to have some security for once. I would just say we can buy it immediately and then we'll be finally landowners. Cow still owners. Call this dude for I want to know, like I need to know. Babe. He needs to know that we get it. Like I don't want this to go wrong. Okay. Poor man. I would be stressing the out of like trying to find Yeah, sorry. Welcome to our life. Ah hola. Me oyes bien? Que llamamos porque nos ha gustado mucho y queremos seguir adelante con la compra. Here we go. Got our house. We got it. <laughs> we need to get the other one. But at least we got one. Took three years. <laughs> It's taken us a while, yes. Hola. Sí, soy Alejandra. Mira, que hemos estado mirando todo y, y nada, que llamaba porque sí, estamos interesados y para pues eh, ponerte una oferta y a ver que, cómo lo ves. <ríe> vale, perfecto. Muchas gracias. <ríe> Venga, adiós. Uh, she said that she's gonna talk it with her dad to see if they agree or not. She didn't say no outright. I'm so nervous. I'm like shaking. I hate doing this thing so much. You're doing great, really. I'm really impressed. Why do I get so nervous with these things? Like, I'm like, no, oh. like I am nervous and I'm not even like, I'm like so. shaking. <laughs> It's a very important moment, huh? Yeah. If she says yes. If she says yes, we have four. Oh, I hope she says yes. I don't know why I'm so stressed. Like, if they say no, that's fine as well. We can counter offer. I just freak out about these things. It's a big deal, huh? Mm. This is gonna define the rest of our lives. We've always been rejected. <laughs> sí. Sí, buenas tardes. Ah, perfecto, qué bien. <laughs> Muchísimas gracias, qué buenas noticias. Buenas tardes. Chao. We got it. Oh. They accepted our offer. We're oh. gonna buy our first house. It's finally cow working shed. out. <laughs> cow shed. <laughs> We're gonna buy our first, first cow, cow shed. shed. It's been so, so many years. So many years and so many months searching for things. Like... So much saving and so much having to change directions because things weren't working out and always feeling like we were too late and yeah. That's crazy. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm really happy. I'm so glad that it seems like it's working out. Yeah. Because really a couple of days ago, I didn't share it with you, but I, I really felt like I was losing hope. Like nothing was gonna work out. I just thought, oh, we failed again. Like 
we've wasted another three months for nothing. And I really was about to be like, <laughs> I don't know what to do with our money that we saved. We're not gonna find anything. Why are we like still here? I, I had lost hope. And then suddenly out of nowhere in like, one day like we saw it yesterday we saw it yesterday and now and we today we made an offer and they the accepted it yeah. yeah and the other one is kind of like kind of accepted as well we need to talk about it a bit more but overnight everything has changed the whole world has changed like until we don't sign i'm not truly gonna believe it here's where my anxiety kicks in and i'm like what if we get there and the papers are wrong <laughs> what if they don't actually own it turned out that the properties we are gonna buy are actually not owned by the person that sells them and then we flip the page they've been donated to him oh my god babe we're gonna have a place I'm gonna have four we can make that place really nice. It will take years and years and years, but we can make it really, really beautiful and like have that feeling of like it's ours. We got given the number of a local man that had some cabanas he was interested in selling. I called him and we decided to meet, even though we had very low expectations. But the instant we got there, we knew we had found our spot. It turned out that he was selling three cabanas that were next to another one that we already had seen for sale, but by a different owner. This was exactly what we were looking for. That was... Uh, that was not... <laughs> that was not the best. That's a bit of a bummer. They are willing to sell. The price is just ridiculous. It's double from what the other cabanas are sold for. And it's not worth it. Um, no. I didn't expect them to be that unreasonable. Anyway, disappointing. Yeah. Frustrating. But we just have to go on. We'll go on. We have had this a couple of times now. It would be nice if it goes right once. So far it hasn't happened. But it goes with ups and downs. And this is the down. Yep. Just talk to the other neighbor. Is she gonna give a better price? I don't know. She's still interested in selling it, so. Okay. I just wanna buy it and get it out of the way. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm just, I don't wanna look for more stuff. I'm tired. These games being played with you all the time. It's just annoying. It's, mm -hmm. It becomes a bit tiring. Let's see what happens. How do you feel about the message? I think it makes sense like this. I mean, I think it's important that we point out the issues because they are real issues and risks that yeah. we're taking on. I mean, this is a good offer. Like we're giving what we think is fair. Yeah. I hope that they don't come back asking for more because let's not get ahead of ourselves okay so shall i send it yeah <sighs> let's see let's see <sighs> i have so much anxiety why let's just celebrate just... this you made an effort babe <sighs> proud of you oh i have a lot of anxiety <sighs> <sighs> oh my goodness I'm not made for this. this I'm not. I'm just. No. Made. No. Wait. Well, this. This is part of life. This is part I, I of know. becoming grown up. If not, it wasn't meant to be. We're on our way to the dream spot. To meet with the neighboring cabana, the owner of the neighboring cabana, which we would love to get, yes. and which would make the dream spot a viable like. spot. So Warner found her or met her whilst I was away. And there's actually maybe a chance for us to buy her place as well. Oh my God, that would be so cool. Yeah. So we might still be Crazy. able to get that place. And then I talked to her on the phone and it seems like she might be willing to sell. So we're walking there now, then I'm back to meet her and see if she has thought about it. She wants to meet us and we talked about that she was interested in selling it. But with my limited amount of Spanish, <laughs> I could have missed a lot of things because I understand only like 60%. So there's a lot of lost in translation, mom. See myself here. 
see myself here. <laughs> it's so cool. I love this spot. It's also a beautiful day, but still such a nice place. No matter how many other places we saw, we kept on coming back here. This cabana was a bit pricier than others, but had spectacular views. It also had many issues, like for example, it wasn't registered properly, which could bring us issues in the future. It had no access to it, and it was also way too small to become our future home. Basically, it didn't really match our criteria and had too many problems to justify the price, but we loved it and decided to try speak with the neighboring properties to see if we could salvage the situation by buying two. Just exploring our dream house. We've come here so many times and every time we come we're like, yes. This is it. <laughs> it's not perfect. This used to be three huts with land, a lot of land and he divided it in three, the owner, and sold one off. So now we would have a neighbor right there. Show. <laughs> right there. Um, which is not ideal, we would just love to have both of those cabanas. Also because we have to figure out the roads through his plot of land. Yeah. Which is gonna be a bit difficult. Yeah, but I think it will be worth it's it. It's worth it, no? We just like it's it worth too it. much. It's worth it, it's worth it. This one will be very small, we won't have room for guests, so people will have to camp in the garden. <laughs> Maybe Sip we can it. camp. We'll camp. We'll camp, you can come. We have just a couple of details like away from knowing everything about the house that you need to know before making an offer and we need to make an offer this this really like i'm not a good negotiator it stresses me out a lot you have to do the work yeah i have to do everything because it's in spanish i'm not confrontational i don't like negotiating <laughs> i'm just like okay take my money it's fine <laughs> And that's let's not, not smart. Let's not say that. Let, let, I'll do the negotiation. <laughs> like, here, take my money. Take all the money. Take my money. <laughs> Be happy. Cool. Um, so, yeah, this is a bit of a challenge for me. It also puts me in, like, at the peak of my social anxiety. But we're getting there. I'm doing it. It's a learning moment. It's the next step. Yeah. It's a grown-up moment. It's a grown-up moment. I have to grow up. We're excited for this next phase and hopefully we get this this one. Although the cabañas may look okay from the outside, the walls are more than 70 centimeters thick, making the inside spaces much smaller than expected. They also need to be fully renovated. This takes a lot of time, work and money. The country life! <laughs> Am I low enough? That's how you get through anywhere. <laughs> that went really well. <laughs> that was really helpful. We just got out of the municipality hall. Uh, we talked to the urban Local art about cabañas and the possibilities and it was really helpful because he was super clear he told us the whole process which it was impossible to figure out online so he told us all the steps and it does seem complicated and it is intimidating <laughs> so it confirms that but at least we understand now exactly what we have to do which is really really helpful it's such a shame because the law has changed and before he would manage the applications he's such a nice guy that it would have been much easier oh, yeah. and now it's done like in the Comunidad Autónoma and apparently they're they're quite difficult so I they're think super difficult things like, have become worse we, not better we heard horror stories yeah this is what we need to do because we want to live here so we like, love it here we it's absolutely it. love it here if not we'll just go camping here for the rest of our lives we think it's worth it <laughs> it is worth it let's not speak too let, soon maybe in a year's let, time we're let, like pulling our hairs out let's <laughs> check in in five years when the house still doesn't stand <laughs> We spent every free moment we had looking for potential spots and visiting cabañas to give ourselves as many options as possible. And although there were nice places, we ultimately didn't see ourselves there. This pink house over here is for sale, as well as that cabaña. It wouldn't be bad, except that it's like surrounded by many other places that are not. So that cabaña is in really good state, has been renovated, so it won't be affordable. And then there's this huge house here, which is not for sale, but it's probably quite expensive. 
And then if you see there, well, it's scattered. There are lots of different cabañas. So it's not really the isolated place to ourselves that we're looking for. This is not perfect when you're surrounded by people, but like if you had that little cabana as a, as a holiday home, and this one you rent it out, then we could come here and I would be happy here for some months a year, like it would be cool. There's something different here than in Asturias. In Asturias I kept on thinking like when we went to see a place that I didn't like, I was like this is completely not worth putting any money or time into. And here it's different, even if we didn't find the perfect spot for us, we could still find something that's nice enough to have, which is good. Like then we could invest in something even if, if we don't find our spot, which gives me hope. Because mm -hmm. then it's not wasted time completely, I hope. I think it's a good spot to come home to. We arrived in Cantabria, in Valles Pasiegos. It's like one and a half hour away from where we were before. It has been snowing all day, but I couldn't help myself. I needed to leave the house a bit. I wanted to see the area. Uh, it's cold, but it's super pretty. It's absolutely stunning. Can't wait to find our home here. We are back in the Valles Pasiegos, looking at huts today. Just saw our first one, which is not it. No, it's in the shade. We don't want shade, we want sun. <laughs> full sun, especially on days like today. It has been freezing quite a bit last yeah. night. It's warm now, it's like 8 degrees. Only That's if you're in the sun. If you look in the shade, in it's the shade still it's all cold. icy. So here the sun really does make a huge difference. And we want to make sure that we're full on the south. Full on the south Ali wants all sun day. throughout the day. Yeah. Not Ali, we want sun. I do, I do as well. Not coming over there. So for sale. The views are amazing but has this neighbor quite near and unfortunately down there a dog breeder. I mean you don't want that to exist but to see it every day, oh heartbreaking. Warner has angered the dogs. <laughs> This is an old laundromat. You actually see them everywhere around Cantabria and Asturias. So they're really cool. It must have been really cold doing your laundry. I mean, there's people here that still don't have their own toilets and facilities, so maybe they're even used. Still using I it. hope not. But they all look in pretty good condition. Yeah, which is surprising. <laughs> so it could be. Yeah, but it yeah. is true that most of the people here don't actually have bathrooms, so they just yeah. poop and pee out in the open. Which is interesting. Well, when, when you're visiting all this cabana, yeah, it's crazy. Life was really. It's a rough different here. level of development. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's stunning here, and I think we're going to see that one. I'm not a hundred percent sure. <laughs> okay, was well, not the the hut we just showed another one we don't know how to access this place is clearly and they just send a location like a rough location on google maps and then making it is a bit more difficult but an adventure so we thought it was this one but it wasn't it's actually this one it's gorgeous still has a great view it's way bigger which is good because we need more more space. We don't know where the road would be exactly because the path we just did walking, not very viable, but I guess we can always figure something out. The place is just stunning. I mean, the views, look at the views. I just love it so much. And there's neighbors, but they don't feel like they're encroaching on you. And oh, it's so pretty. I really, really like this one. It's one of the first ones I've seen that I've been like, yeah. I see myself here. This is the view of the other side. And we were just there seeing that house over there. That's where the dogs were. I like this place much more. It's really cool. Location number four of the day. This is Tri Cabañas. We're surrounded by more snow, so more high up. Okay, there's somewhere up there. But we cannot access because it's too snowed in and we don't know which one is the road. <laughs> Forget about it. We don't think this is the location we would want. I don't even know what property number we're in. 
but this one we also have to walk to quite a bit because the road is still snowed in and our little car cannot make it this is only one cabana in a very different valley but it actually looks quite nice has good feeling as we say good juju <laughs> so let's see let's see how it is it's quite a while walking in the snow which means that if we ever do live here and it snows and it snows every winter you're completely cut off because clearly this road they don't take care of so probably not ideal we're still gonna go see it because once we're here why not but it's not the most practical thing also i'm really not in shape Whew. we found it it's that one over there we're not even gonna bother walking to it because it's been already quite a while and it's a bit too remote then it's also surrounded by other cabanas so we wouldn't be alone if we ever got it so no going winter so beautiful spot but not for us we wanted to see one last property today this was the one that was furthest in the valley but cannot get to it the road is completely cut off we're supposed to be going uh, somewhere, somewhere in there, there but this is not it no and we would never live here but it's so pretty it's really nice to have gotten here at least and now we can discard it The main house would be that one down there, which is a good size. Of course, it needs full rehabilitation. And then up here, there's a little ruin, which would be great for our workshop. The views are cool. You see the mountains there. The road is down there. And then these are the views to the other side. The downside is that we have neighbors pretty nearby. So right there and also right here we're in the valles pasiegos in cantabria we've come to look at huts for sale in the mountain it's a really beautiful area it's stunning there are the little huts all all around the, the valley and before we had discarded it a little bit because the huts are in very poor state and they're also separated from each other so you don't really have like a nucleus of buildings which mm. we were looking for before but it's it's absolutely stunning and and we start to slowly get into the idea again of of buying something here at least yeah. one maybe yeah. two or three we think it's worth it to put in the the time and the building permit process yeah. and all of that because then that means that one day it might take us longer but one day we'll have a stunning home here yeah. in the mountains and with a beautiful view we just went around with a real estate agent to look at three properties and they were all not really what we wanted but all very nice but all absolutely great yeah. which is already a step up from what we're have our experience in Asturias where we go to places they're super expensive they're very bad yeah. yeah so here they're in bad state but at least they're still affordable there's potential and they're affordable at Exciting. least it gives us a bit of hope because yeah. we had gone to a really low point uh, <laughs> in Asturias we have been there now for more than three months okay. how many places have we seen dozens huh? I don't know but they were all bad the only place we still found interesting was the village we cannot get here it's maybe better After a few frustrating months in Asturias, we decided to start considering Cantabria once again. A quick day trip confirmed we were ready to change directions. We've come to the Valles Paseos to see if we like it still. It's so beautiful. We love it. It's, we love it. And it's not a very nice day. It's quite cloudy, it's been raining, but it's just so beautiful here. So we have more options. This was the last place we saw in Asturias and the one that convinced us we had to change areas. It was completely unaffordable for us and still we would only get one home plus a stable in such terrible condition that demolition was the only way forward. Basically we realized that even if we were to become rich overnight we would not be interested and it proved to us that the prices in the area had gotten out of hand. It was time to look elsewhere.
This is the little cabana and then the rest is the shed where the cows are living. On the other side we have the mountains and we still have sun at 4 p.m. so that's pretty good. This is the south side of the property. Obviously it needs a ton of work, the whole roof is. It needs to be replaced. The problem is that here is already the fence and we don't know who that belongs to. We don't want to have neighbors so near. If it weren't for that, it's pretty cool. Also, what is up with this forest? It's clearly used to be eucalyptus, a eucalyptus plantation. It's all been like plucked out. I don't know why. And I don't know what the plans are. We need to really need to check that. Obviously needs a ton of work, but it is the type of location that we're looking for. The one problem it has is that currently it's a cabana, which is not a home. It's not classified as a home. So we would have to go see what options they give us for being able to live here. Also the road here sucks. We would have to fix the road and roads are expensive. We were so desperate. We actually considered this place because of its beautiful location. But looking back, it makes no sense at all. Its classification meant it could never become a permanent home and it was clearly not worth the price. So that was an experience, <laughs> was it? It was not what we're looking for. No, it was a house, cost mm. 200,000 euros, which is already way too much. But then we thought, like, let's just have a look, because... Yeah. I had quite a lot of land. So yeah, and the valley good. looks really nice. Um, it was a <laughs> hole. <laughs> really bad. It was and really bad. Really not worth the money. There's clearly a lot of issues with the house, so they try to just hide it by painting over it. Um, but you can see that there's a lot of issues with the roof. A lot of issues with certain walls. I it's mean, just I think everything was terrible. It's in a valley that's really beautiful. It's very well located. But we came here last Saturday and it was honestly devastating. We went back home really upset because there were hunters absolutely everywhere. Yeah. Um, and that's a big problem of Spain and many other countries. But Spain, like the majority of the land is a coto de caza. So like a hunting range or whatever, even if it's privately owned land. So on Saturdays from like September to February, there's hunters everywhere. And it's, it's just horrid. It's so sad. You see them together with like eight to ten people. It's so <laughs> disturbing. And I mean, haven't we messed up nature enough? Like there's barely there's any nothing, wilderness in Europe. Like it's a, it's a wild country as in like the countryside here is quite uh, wild but there's zero animals like, no, and, and the, we have no wilderness we've destroyed everything and that's all over Europe we've destroyed nature and yet hunting is perfectly allowed they have the strongest lobbies so there's no laws like against them it's just horrifying and that's gonna be one of the biggest challenges of living in the countryside having to deal with them we're gonna search further up to the next yeah. one it's a bit demoralizing at times. Today I'm okay. Today this I'm weekend. good, yeah, but I didn't have any expectations. I think yeah. that's like where it goes wrong if you are expecting something great. It turns out most of the time that it's nothing. Yeah, this weekend we went out <coughs> both days to look for places and both days we came back upset and angry with each other. <laughs> yeah, upset and angry of the situation and like, of and course, we were putting that onto each other. So we had a massive fight <laughs> because of it, which doesn't really make sense because we're already pretty down, <laughs> both of us. So we're only dragging ourselves more down. It's going with ups and downs and it takes a long time. We definitely have to bring our A game to find something new. And maybe reconsider later on if we see that we cannot find anything. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah. Anything can happen. We're the whole morning seeing properties. The first one we saw was really cool, the house itself, but um, it was just too close to neighbors and that's not what we want. Also, you could hear the road, just a lot of noise. Now the second one seems to be in the shade. Yep, it was fully in the shade for multiple months in winter. We're here to see a house that's for sale. And it's so cool. Look at the views. This is all the land around that belongs to the house. I really like the house, it's really cool. And then here, 
It has an Oreo. The only thing with this place is that we were looking for multiple homes and this one only has one. Looking for the next pile of houses. We seem to be going for the places that are far away and unreachable. Well, they're reachable, but just not by our small car. Apparently it rains here a lot. Especially in November, last November, they had a terrible month of only rain. Like, it didn't stop raining for a month. But so far, we haven't had rain. That one is actually for sale. That one we don't know about. But it would be nice to get the whole valley. Because the views are quite nice into this mountain valley. We have resorted to just walking around and finding places <laughs> that are abandoned. This is the second time that we're trying your approach. Yeah. You have identified this valley, it's actually very nice. It's a gorgeous valley, it's, really it's like absolutely stunning. We are going to walk to our first place because our little car cannot make yeah. it to see if it could potentially be abandoned. And if not, it will be awkward, we'll appear in someone's property, who knows. <laughs> but we That's have how desperate we are, <laughs> just walking randomly into places. <laughs> is this abandoned? <laughs> Can we buy it, please? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Let's see if it's a good tactic. Maybe in like half a year's time, we look back at this video and be like, yeah. That was the right way to go. That was the moment we almost bought the place. Oh, look. This part was amazing. Yeah, it was not inhabited by people, but it was definitely inhabited by cows. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a working farm. I don't know how that would work. Uh, but I just to be clear, it. this is not on sale or anything. We're just going up to spots that look nice. <laughs> and if we find the spot, we will ask everyone around to see if there, something can be done for us to acquire it. So an interesting tactic. <laughs> There's a lot of abandoned land in Asturias. There's a lot of homes that no one knows the owners of because there was a huge migration in the Civil War. But also prior to that, it was a, a, an area that suffered from a lot of hunger. So mm. around 50% of the population migrated to Latin America, which is a crazy amount if you think about it. And then with the civil war and a dictatorship taking over the country, a lot of people had to leave as well. So there's lots of plots of land and there's lots of like abandoned homes who no one knows who they belong to. Even the people who are the owners probably don't know where their homes are anymore or like where their ancestors' homes are anymore. And that makes things a bit more tricky for mm. trying to find a place. It's not that there's no spots in Asturias, there's so many abandoned homes everywhere. Most of the time they're just not for sale because they're, no just, yeah, they're yeah. just there. Being unused, we want to get them. We'll get them. We'll get them. <laughs> Yesterday we had a really good day. We went to visit a place which looks very promising but at the same time very terrifying. We're on our way to see a property that has potential. It's a lot of hectares which is what we're looking for and it has multiple buildings or edifications on it. Only one is in a good state, the rest are all ruins but at least one I think could be lived in. Right as you enter to the right, the kitchen, I like the tiled floor. And here is the toilet. This is the upstairs floor. One bedroom. Okay size. The wall has humidity issues. Here's a closet. Here is another bedroom. Also humidity issues. Third bedroom. They painted it. Think to cover all the Stains. And yeah, there's this stairs going nice up. Ah, uh, no, they don't go up. This is just. I don't know what this is. Although the location is not perfect, it's still in the part of Asturias that we like. Honestly, it's such slim pickings that we have to be a bit flexible. 
we are going to meet the realtor now. He's such a flaky and weird person, honestly. Just setting an appointment with him has been really difficult. Um, so I'm not looking forward to, to talking to this man. The realtor is completely nuts. <laughs> yeah, he's a, a complete nuthead. <laughs> but we did like it. We liked it more than we thought we would. And yeah. it's nice to have options because for a little while there it looked like we had zero options. So at least now we have one. Advantages um, of the place. You still feel like you're in the middle of nature. Yeah. But it's accessible. It has um, water. It has multiple properties, although we need potential. to figure out why. It has potential. Yeah. <laughs> um, south facing for part, most of the land, which is really good for or really important for us. And there's a really big part that is like for agriculture and there's a really big part that is a beautiful forest, like absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. Cons, the neighbors. He comes across as a bit difficult. Um, and he, we share the water with him. Yeah, and he's and a farmer person. who has a lot of cows, so that's a bit of a tricky thing. The houses that are on the property are actually ruins. Uh, ruins. They're, they Most don't have a roof. Most of them are ruins. There's a house underneath there somewhere. Yeah. So we we'll need to figure out with the municipality what what How we can do the with them. Work. It's not our ideal, ideal Spot, location. No. It's not like super striking. Yeah, but it has a nice view, but it's not super striking. And it's a lot of work. That it's is the con. It's a, it's a lot, lot of, work. of work. Like we're in for work, we know that. But this place, whew, it will it'll be tough. We're gonna drive back to the same area, explore a bit today. It's such a gorgeous day that we just wanna move around and then uh, let's see how we feel today. Yeah. Finding properties online like the ones we're looking for is actually quite difficult. There's not many options out there. No. So we've resorted, well, you have resorted to. Just going Google Earth, spot by spot. Trying to identify cool small villages that could be abandoned. It's not a foolproof method. We just came to one that looked like it was in the perfect spot and it looked empty abandoned on them. Google Maps. And we've come here and it's very much lived in. <laughs> So we're gonna go on to another spot Next to one. see Next one. to see if this method proves successful in any way. This spot is also stunning, also very much lived in, <laughs> or at least renovated for a vacation home. People have just homes here that they keep empty most of the year and then just come for holidays, or they rent out also for summer. So we're gonna have to find something that's. Livable. <laughs> yeah. Their views are stunning, I'll show you. We'll have to continue trying. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be hard, but we'll manage somehow. I hope. We are packed and loaded and we're on our way north. A new era of our lives. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Feels like it. This is our new home for the next coming months. It's south facing, which I love because then we get sun. Knowing we wanted to buy land and a home in the north of Spain and that searching from the spot is always easier, we decided to move to Asturias for some months. We rented a little home and once again spent all our free time searching. After so many months of unclarity and being strung along by the seller, this rejection did not come easy. New development. We got a missed call and then we got a message from the, the seller and he basically said that we could get it. If we go ahead, conditionless. We go ahead, we no. don't, we're not going to go ahead without conditions because this, this place is too risky. But, but maybe but there is a way, there is a way. <laughs> that we can make this work. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> like it makes me nervous. So we're gonna try to figure this out yeah, over the coming really days. Yeah, you already called the real estate agent. But there's hope. I don't know if that's a good thing. Because then if it falls again, I'm gonna be... I was so sad for a while. Yeah, me too. But hope is good. Hope is always good. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how crazy the mountains.
This will be the moment where I look back on being like... <laughs> okay, okay. What a great moment. Okay, I'm or pressing, what a bad I'm pressing moment. send. I'm okay. pressing send. One, two. Uh. I suddenly got them so emotional. We just sent the offer, and this is such a big, such a big thing. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but. Okay. I'm very stressed. Yeah? We're thinking of putting an offer. Today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. So much money. So much money. It's a big change as well. Such huh? a big life decision. Are we thinking of everything? You know how many articles I've read of like, what to think about when buying land? <laughs> and nothing what is the? like concrete what? or useful. What? Also, a lot is relying on me because Warner cannot read, you know, the Spanish requirements for the taxes and whatever. I left Warner alone for two minutes and he bought... <laughs> Six kilos of garlic. So I have to figure it out. And it's just language I don't understand. I feel so stupid. I read through all these things and I'm like, what is it saying? Maybe this is the biggest mistake of our lives. <laughs> I hope not. The good thing of that is then we have made it. And then we can get on with our lives. We can never screw up more than this. <laughs> I don't think you can know that is the biggest mistake. Wow, well, it will be a big one. I think it sets the bar really high. It's the biggest financial decision we've ever made. It's so stressful to make a decision and to not know if it's the right one and if you're putting the right like offer in. And you know, it's so much money, it's all our savings. We spent the whole day looking at a village. This is probably like the fifth time we've gone, but this is the time we've looked at it more thoroughly. We've gone through all the houses. We've come to do a proper exploring with pants and shoes, because the other day we came in shorts and flip-flops. The nice thing is that today is sunny, so it's super pretty. The view is gorgeous. We're excited. We walked all around the property. Yeah, I even had a helmet on sometimes <laughs> because I was just too scared for yeah. things coming down. House number one. This is where I see myself. It's just nice, it gets the sun. I mean, obviously, it's in really poor condition. This here would be the workshop. And then we also got in touch with the family that last lived there, like properly lived there. This was quite a long time ago. They were born there, they lived there half their lives when there was no water, no electricity, yeah. no road. They sold it 30 years ago, around 30 years ago. Oh, it's that long already? I didn't I follow that. I think so. Okay. Um, and then that went to an owner that sold it to the current owner that we we're trying to buy from. Yeah. And the current owner well, owners, because it's multiple, they bought it in 2005 and yeah. basically never developed the project. And the place has really deteriorated because it has been abandoned now for many, many years. And Apparently it was in perfect state, but as you can see on the videos, it's not. Ooh. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Look again. at that roof. That's caving in. It looks like the roof is caved in. There's a lot of vehicles, abandoned vehicles in this property, including this truck. No. This is newer. Yeah, the year is, is coming. Got all the crap everywhere and the humidity. And then I guess there's more crap over there. And lots of over here. Oh my god, the stairs. Maybe you cannot stand on this floor. Nice. They are pretty upset about the, the current the state of the... The original family is very sad because, of course, they have beautiful memories there and they were very happy they to talk to excited, us. And they were yeah. very helpful. What are your thoughts? I love the place. I think... I absolutely love it. I mean, it's a gem. 
It's an absolute gem. It's so beautiful. The you view. have the view. Like today we had the views over the Picos. And yeah, it, like it makes the place magical. Huh? It's just really beautiful. I love that it's at the end of a road where people are not bothering you that you don't have neighbors nearby besides the neighbor that we have a couple of hundred meters on the right there's no one in the valley and yeah. also not on the mountain opposite the valley yeah, like so it really feels like a magical place huh? i love the the spot it's it's unbeatable the problem is more how far it is from everything love that this is isolated but is it too isolated don't know. And, and the road getting there is a bit scary. Not many people will be willing to drive that. It's just cliffs. The isolation is really good for some things, but then it also makes us feel like we're gonna be a bit alone and stuck there and that no one's gonna come see us for a very long time. It's gonna be difficult for us to see other people because we'll need the time to to spend on these houses, like, yeah. especially in the beginning, because there's one house that is in fairly good condition well, calling it good condition is an it's overstatement <laughs> just found the key after like half an hour searching yeah we were told by the owner where to get it we're, oh, not, yeah, we're trespassing. not trespassing no. <laughs> let's see how it looks okay oh it's kind of creepy oh, i really like it smells like it has been locked up for multiple years which it has oh, it's very short ceilings huh Oh, Look okay. at your head. <laughs> Here's the kitchen. Oh. There's definitely someone coming here. Yeah. It's filled with crap. Not someone who's very clean. How you can you tell that hippies lived here? Because there is coconut oil, organic, chia seeds, flax seeds, and cacao nibs. Okay, got a chair for me. This is a nice place. Wow. Cool. I like the I love the floor. Yeah, I like the fireplace. I like this chair, fun. I like this space. It's very light. This space is very nice. There's an outdoor toilet, an outdoor shower, uh, which makes it complicated. There's no <laughs> sewer. Let's see. Oh wow! Oh wow! Fancy! Let's see, get out of the way. Ooh! Oh, that looks disgusting. Yeah, it's someone in there and then just left. <laughs> here's, here's the shower. Fancy, fancy. We would have to go here to the bathroom if we lived here once, so... I yeah, think, it's a bit hardcore. I think this is the washing room, the laundry room. Let's see. There's a lot of pipes everywhere. Down here, and of course, a healthy amount of crap. So, okay, the distance is the problem. Then it's a ton of work. It's gonna be really, really tough. And we are aware of that. We are a bit afraid that whilst being a gem and being probably completely worth it, might not be exactly for us. So we might not be the right people because of our budget. And it's just us too and it's a lot of physical labor but mainly the i'm i'm worried about the finances because we have savings and with that we could buy the place but we could never afford the renovations the, afterwards yeah we would buy the place and then not have any money to continue and it's a lot of money that you need because it's a lot of houses and a big big plot of land those are basically the biggest barriers the scariest barriers to overcome i still think it's a crazy opportunity it's really nice it's so it's so nice it's for for crazy people are we those crazy people i'm not sure it's like i walk around there with a very conflicting brain like one brain is just like oh my god this is such a great opportunity like take it you can do this like it's it, it's it's amazing you should go for it and then the other brain being like you're completely crazy stop <laughs> like stop thinking about this don't do this so we're gonna do a lot of thinking this coming week we're gonna continue trying to figure out everything we don't know trying to figure out the level of protection the houses have what type of renovations we could do this is an oro which is a structure traditional of asturias and this is highly protected so we would have to restore it i'm afraid of missing out on other life opportunities because we've put all our eggs in this basket that yeah. is a very difficult basket to carry we need to see more places so that we're not so stuck only to this 
possibility? I, I tried yesterday. Yeah. Every place I look at them is like, it's just not the same. Why would I pay more for something that's worse? Come on, old girl. Yeah. Knowing we wanted to explore the north of Spain and that there was one property we were really interested in, we decided to take a long house in Asturias to be in the area and explore the possibility of buying there. If you would also like to try out house sitting, check out our link in the description. In December of 2021, we had seen an ad of a village for sale that piqued our interest. We managed to locate and visit it, but the owner didn't respond to any of our messages until... How was that? That was good, it was interesting. Um, apparently the place is under offer for a while now because there's some issues with the paperwork, but if it falls through, then we have a chance. Tired of our lives in the Netherlands and knowing we eventually wanted to buy land in Spain, we decided to rent a home and remote work for a couple of months in Cantabria, the north of the country. We spent every free minute driving around and trying to see as much as possible. We're going to one of the abandoned villages. <laughs> really feels like an adventure, no? I have no idea where this will lead to be honest let's see can we find this <laughs> so far abandoned village very near and other stuff very big village and it's just not it <laughs> definitely not it we drove to galicia for a couple of days to see if we liked it after a few viewings we quickly decided we would stick to eastern asturias and cantabria This is the first time we visited the place we would eventually call home. We loved it, but we were intimidated by the work building here would entail. Here we are. And one of the places we're looking at, there's a car there, so don't, we don't really dare go in much because there seems to be people. But we think this whole thing is for sale, or at least most of the buildings here. They're half, like they're all half destroyed, so it would be a lot of work. But pretty cool. And once the two months were over, we knew we had found the place where our future home would be. Now we just had to make all our dreams and plans a reality. If you're still here, thank you. It's been a long video and an even longer journey. Since one of the first days Ali and I met, we started talking about living in a place in the countryside. We've been looking for our spot and our home for years and it hasn't worked out until now. It has been a very difficult process for us and definitely not a linear one. No. We wanted to show a bit of our experience over the last year and a half, just to give you a glimpse into what we have gone through. But actually the journey starts way before. Six years ago we already were looking for apartments to buy in Brussels because we knew it was a good investment but we didn't have the money. We also looked at land and thought about building a tiny house in Australia. Then when we moved back to the Netherlands a couple of years ago we started to look at the more traditional route of getting a mortgage and trying to buy a home that was not viable for us. We just didn't have enough money and didn't earn enough for that. Now we couldn't afford it. And then for years we knew we wanted to buy land in Spain and eventually move here and therefore we decided a year ago to just bite the bullet and try start that part of our journey and that also has proven quite difficult to achieve. Making the decision to move to Spain and then actually getting a place was then very we, difficult. We narrowed it down to the north of Spain. We didn't know the area as well and it changes a lot from one place to another what you can get and what type of life you will have. Yeah even from valley to valley you feel the area change you feel the energy of the place change. So we 
we've had to do a lot of searching, we've had to do a lot of viewings, and we've had to change our expectations and our goals along the way to be more realistic and in keeping with what was possible for us at this stage in life. Before we really had the idea of creating this community where we would live full time in Spain. We wanted to buy a, a whole village and that was a dream that we yeah we thought would be really cool but it just hasn't worked out. It was way too ambitious for sure. Now we have found a spot that is initially just for us but we are so so happy about it as well. And it allows us to travel and to do other things besides living here. We of course are gonna absolutely enjoy every minute of being here but there will also be times that we just want to see the world as we love to travel together. This place allows us to do both. In this video we show you some of the properties we've visited and some of the experiences we've had but we've actually seen way way more. Way more, way way more. I do want to point out one thing whenever we talk about prices and we say something is cheap or expensive you have to take into account that it's relative to the area. We know that our viewers might be from different places and for some of you it may be crazy cheap and for some of you it may be crazy expensive but whenever we are referring to a place being one or the other it's concretely taking into account the local conditions what is normal for Spain and for the north of Spain and what is reasonable for us. Some of the areas we've been have changed a lot since the past couple of years they have really exploded and therefore prices have gotten out of control and they're not the normal prices for the local economy. You can see that specifically in Asturias. That's why we also put the prices underneath because we wanted to give you an idea of what we were looking at. And most of the properties in Asturias were actually not viable for us because- no, they were out of our budget. And honestly, they were not worth it. These places might seem affordable depending on where you're from, but you have to take into account that they need full renovations. And that takes a lot of time, energy, money. You have to hire local architects, local engineers, contractors, and figure out the bureaucracy here, which is quite <laughs> unique and complicated. The Spain is super bureaucratic. Yeah, yeah and, and specifically these areas in the countryside, the regulations change a lot depending on where you are. It is really not easy to get one of these places and make it livable. So at first in Asturias, I think we felt quite desperate and we were willing to pay more and wait longer before we could start the construction. Because we felt like that was the only way. When you talk in Spain, everyone thinks Asturias is cheaper than Cantabria. So we were kind of like resigned thinking, well, if this is the cheapest, even though the prices have gone up, this is what we'll have to do. And then we realized that we could change areas and actually afford much more and it made us feel much more comfortable with the yeah. process as well so we're very glad we moved we hope you like this video and seeing a bit of the journey in the next video we're going to give you a tour of our place and tell you a little bit about our plans our goals and then the video after we'll show you how we got started because the work has begun so stay tuned subscribe if you want to keep track of the process and we'll see you very soon